channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share to you the uh, pre-programmed settings of uh, Mini Motors EY3 display. So the meaning of a pre-programmed setting is allowing the riders to minimize or maximize the performance of their electric scooter. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated for my upcoming videos. Now let's proceed to the pre-programmed settings. So first step that we need to do is you need to turn on this key ignition and this is the voltmeter. So to turn on the display, you just need to press the power button here. And then so as you can see guys, this is the display of EY3 green color so i will show you first this is the battery voltage and then this is the battery bar level and then this is the gear from gear 1 gear 2 and gear 3 so to change the gear you just need to press the white button here so as you can see it will change the gear and see here this is the speed unit the kilometers per hour or you can change into a miles per hour so as you can see guys, once I press the trigger, so as you can see, it will show the speedometer, okay? It will change the numbers. So if I press the mode button, you can see the timer. Next is the trip. And then next is the total auto of your electric scooter. So mine is 104 only. Then next is the charger, so this is mostly not used. And then next is the, again, the battery voltage level. Okay? Okay, so to proceed to the pre-program settings or P settings, you just need to press the mode button, long press. As you can see guys, P0 is for wheel diameter. So to add the numbers, or to change the number, you just need to press this white button here. Okay. So, 10.6, 7, 8, 9, 11. So, my scooter is 11 inch. So, wheel diameter is important because it will give you the exact record of your speedometer once you input the proper numbers of your wheel diameter. So, if you want to change, you just need to press the mode button. So, as you can see, it changed. Hello, okay guys, so P1 is the battery voltage level. My electric scooter is 60 volts, that's why I put 60. But if your scooter is 72 volts, 84 volts, 36 volts, 48 volts, 52 volts, or 60. So mine is 60. This is from Blade GT controller parts. So now let's proceed to P2. Okay guys, so P2 is motor pulse. Motor pulse settings are specific to scooter models and necessary so that the controller drives the motor pace at the correct frequencies for best performance. So in this guys, the uh, as per the manual of electric scooter, the Blade GT electric scooter is 15. So that is default, so I will not change. Okay guys, so now let's proceed to P3. So, P3 is the speed signal direction. So, in this, guys, the default settings is 0. So, I will not change. Then, next is P4. So, P4 is the speed units. 0 for kilometers per hour and 1 for miles per hour. So, mostly, guys, in US and European countries, they are using the uh, miles per hour. But for mine, I'm using the kilometers per hour so if you want to change as you can see it will go to miles per hour for number one and zero for kilometers per hour let's proceed to p5 so p5 is the start method so zero is for acceleration start and then one is for kick start so in this guys i would suggest if you are beginners choose one because this is for uh, safety for process so now let's proceed to P6. P6 is the cruise control mode. 0 for off and 1 is on. So the meaning of a cruise control mode is 
once you press the trigger in 3 to 5 seconds in constant speed it automatically moving or spinning even you release your finger in throttle in this if you are beginners um, I would suggest uh, do not use the cruise control especially in the open areas or crowded areas so cruise control mode mostly they are using in uh, long rides only proceed to P7 so P7 is the slow start 0 is off then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the slowest start so my settings is 0 because once you use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 it will automatically regenerate the brake so 0 for mine is this is the smooth rides so now let's proceed to P8 so P8 guys is the max output so 5 to 100 percent so in my settings the uh, maximum output I use is 100 so as you can see guys 100 okay, guys so now let's proceed to P9 P9 is battery save so 1 is max save 2 is middle save and 3 is no save so in this guys I would suggest if you want to do the maximum speed or maximum power of your electric scooter I would suggest number 3 because if you use um, number 2 you cannot reach the maximum speed you will reach only around 70 to uh, 75 kilometers per hour but if you use the number 3 you can reach up to 85 kilometers per hour as per the manual now let's proceed to PA so PA is the electronic brake strength so 0 is off and then 5 is strong so in this guys my settings is 0 so I use 0 then so now let's proceed to PB so PB is the LCD brightness so 0 is off so as you can see off then 5 is the brightest so once you press it will change the uh, brightness level let's proceed to PC so PC is auto off time setting so this is 5 to 30 minutes so it depends on you how many minutes you want to stay your electric scooter even you're not using so mine I put 6 but it depends on you like if you want 10 minutes it depends on you then next is PD so PD is ABS settings so 0 is off then 1 is on so the meaning of ABS is anti-lock braking system is a safety anti-skid braking system used on aircraft and on land vehicles such as cars, trucks, buses, and electric scooter. And that's only the uh, free program settings of Mini Motors EY3 display. So if you are new in this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated for my upcoming videos if you have comments or suggestions regarding this topic so please comment down below in the comment section okay oh, guys and that's all for today and this is james signing out um.